So, good morning. I'm not a morning person, by the way. So the big question is, uh, the question of the day, because we're gonna go to the Raider Stadium in a bit. I have to do two things, because I bought the GoPro on a budget, and I have this dollar store, this is a little tripod, with a, a little $4 attachment. The GoPro doesn't fit in there, and I'm getting a hand crop when I have the thing like that, so. I'm gonna try to find an elastic band for this. I have to get this all set up. I'll show you because I can film that part with my with my phone later. I gotta feed those cats every morning and every evening. So I'm gonna have to go down to purchase a, uh, a, a solution to try to get my GoPro to sit on this. I'm gonna hit up Walmart first. My solution is probably just gonna be a rubber band. So let's go do that. Then we're gonna hit down to the Raider Stadium and look at the update of uh, the fact that they're putting the roof on the stadium. They're raising the roof. Is that what you do? Okay, enough bad white guy dancing. Now the big question of the day today is whether or not the people of Las Vegas are as excited about the Raiders coming to Las Vegas as they are about the Vegas Golden Knights. I just passed this uh, big black GMC that had lights flashing and I was in the parking lot. I don't think he liked that I was filming him. And when I looked back, it was like a government vehicle. So I heard him go, I heard him blah, 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 blah. But I try to get in the store right now because I don't think there's many cars like mine in the parking lot. I'd rather not deal with whatever business that guy was on because as soon as he saw that I had my camera. You're not supposed to do that here. I am I really shouldn't do that. But yeah, video YouTube rules. Let's get in the store. have options. First option is that I, the actual GoPro stuff here, oh, I could do that, but I'd rather just buy the proper tripod. $16. This one looks like it's made for, I don't know, will do just fine. Okay, so here's my 67 cent solution until I can get with GoPro and get a proper uh, tripod. I think it'll work. Can you see me? What do you think? Oh, literally just this, right? Is this not the most redneck solution? If you're offended by the term redneck, don't flag my channel, bro. A wine rubber band to rule us all. That should work just fine, look at that. All right, so let's go. Ah, let's go and track down the roof on that stadium. Hey, how are ya? Might be good to introduce myself. Allow me to please introduce myself. My name's Steven, I'm not leaving Las Vegas, and I'm sitting out here right now, Raiders time. Everybody's excited. Is everybody excited? Truth is, um, the Golden Knights are Vegas born like there was no team, and now there is a team. This is obviously a transplant, but it doesn't mean they won't get a lot of love. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go take a look. It's the Las Vegas Stadium. So for everybody who told me there's gonna be thousands of parking spots, I wanna just kind of give you a look around where we are. And I want you to tell me where those thousands of parking spots might be. By the way, if you're watching this channel, I forgot to do this. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, hit the notification, 
for my updates on Vegas stuff, not just Raiders, but I do Raiders um, frequently. Like I'm, I'm regularly updating this building here. And just throw us a comment and a like. <clears throat> 3333 Al Davis Way. Raiders Nation, you wanna tell me why that's significant? Because I'm not a Raiders guy. By the way, I'm also not a Raiders hater. That rhymes, love it, it rhymed. I'm not a Raiders hater, but I don't know the significance of 3333. So with that, this land was 5617 D Martin Drive, right off the main strip. Now it's different. And somebody said in my comments that uh, it was actually a land deal. Harry Reid's a very powerful uh, person in the government, especially here. His uh, son, Rory Reid, was on uh, the Public Utility Commission or some kind of land deal. I can't remember. I don't know the politics. Comment if you know the politics and the lineage there. So the, the rumor was that Harry Reid forced them to purchase this land because he owned it. He turned a huge profit on it. And that's why the stadium is here, as opposed to further down the strip. We're gonna do a video coming up next week about where this should have probably been and where it would have been better, but it would have been further away from all those buildings there. So when I went on the Clark County website, I can't find anything showing that that 5617 D Martin Drive ever existed. And you can usually find, based on a parcel number and an address, where things were, who owned them, and the paper trail of ownership. But this building, this building exists now as 3333 Al Davis Way. It's only ever had one owner. So anyways, Raiders update time. So I'm sure as you can see, as I can see, uh, the last time we were here, they had the last few bits of that giant structural steel. Those are the beams that you can see on the top. Those were on the ground and they were uh, hoisting them up there. You can see the giant balcony style door here and that's where the Al Davis Memorial Torch is gonna go. And uh, I really don't think that that thing there is going to be permanent, obviously. That uh, gray thing in the middle. Uh, they're building a giant opening balcony door here. And also, if you take a look up there, there are there are structural, there, there's, there's corrugated steel for the roof being put in place. So we have a roof happening. So that's a big deal. And you can also see from the freeway, uh, their seats, the seating bowl is pretty much firmly in place. And the stadium is on schedule, it is on track. They say it'll have no problem with it actually opening on time which is good because they have the draft coming out here. And then also, there was a rumor about the draft. So they said the ultimate thing, and this ties into a video I did just yesterday about whether or not the Bellagio fountains were going to be um, turned into high-end retail. They said the NFL dream would to be to do the draft on the Bellagio fountains. Boom, how's that for some marketing right there? And it makes sense because the first official sponsor for right here, even though they haven't named the building, the building is still technically called Las Vegas Stadium, formerly Raider Stadium, uh, is uh, they, they put gates. So where you go into the arena or the stadium, wow, arena, that's the hockey guy in me from Canada coming out. When you go into the stadium, you'll have gates that are named after casinos. So you might go into the Excalibur gate, the Luxor gate, uh, you know, the Mandalay Bay gate, the MGM Grand gate, and that's a money thing, so they go into a partnership. And we would assume, also, going back to transportation, that what they're doing there is they're going to have, now this is just my idea, a shuttle from Mandalay Bay goes to the Mandalay Bay gate, a shuttle from the MGM goes to the MGM gate, and so on and so forth, because that way they know where people are going in, and it's transportation. It still doesn't make up for the fact that these roads are real skinny and real thin, and there's an overpass and an interstate, and that's what you have down here. What do you think about that? <laughs> are we doomed? <laughs> I know I'm not gonna ever wanna drive on this road anywhere close to game day. It's going to be epic, but you can still walk it. I did the video a few weeks back where I walked from the Mandalay Bay right there. So you can always walk, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna get here because wherever you go, there you are, as the old saying says. Do you guys wanna see something funny? 
Photographs and videos of the project and site are strictly prohibited except by authorized personnel along with any form of posting to social media including Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, etc. The Raiders organization, owners and their representatives reserve the right to remove anyone from the Las Vegas Stadium project at any time for any reason with or without cause or notice at their sole discretion. Hello, my name is... Venom. That's right, Venom was here. I am... This is a giant 22-story tall building. This building is a cultural icon in the new era of Las Vegas. How dare they? Look, I want this thing to be built on time as much as anybody. It would be a giant embarrassment on the city and the organization if for some reason there was a problem with it. But I don't think that's very fair. And I'm gonna break the rules. I'm gonna post this up on social media again. So with that, we have the Raiders Stadium update for today. It's uh, July 14th, 2019. And uh, maybe they're on schedule, maybe they're not. They just don't want social media to post stuff, which is weird to me. So if you guys watch this, and if you're able to see this channel, click subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. I do more Raiders updates every few weeks. I do a Vegas channel where I do lots of different stuff on that big awesome strip out there. I'd love to have you around as a local Las Vegan with me. I'm Steven, uh, I, and I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada originally, and this building is awesome. And you should come and check it out while you're here in Vegas. So give us a comment, let us know if you're gonna go to the Raiders Stadium. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.